doing today? I hope you all are doing super great today. And anyone that has been affected by the hurricane, I'm definitely praying for you guys and wishing you and your family and friends safety. Y'all, listen, this just really, like, like, we didn't know that we were going to get the after effects of the hurricane. And we don't live in Florida, you know, because national news said hurricanes coming to Florida. Well, evidently it's coming here too, all right? And I don't live in Florida, but listen to me. I have never seen weather like this before ever. Like, and don't try to get on the road. Don't try and get on the road because you can't see. You couldn't see in front of you. The rain was so bad. The wind was blowing like it was absolutely nuts. My grill cover, it flew. It flew off the grill. <laughs> the cover to the fire pit, it's gone. Leaves are in everywhere in the yard. Y'all, and not only that, um, at the end of my street, a telephone pole burns up. Like... The telephone pole burnt up. It didn't just fall, but around the corner, a telephone pole fell. In over 24 hours, we had no electric. And the generator wasn't generating. The generator was not working, y'all. So that's where I've been. Everybody's like, where you at, Gina? That's where I've been, y'all. But I'm back. <laughs> Electricity is on. So uh, our plan was, so when we woke up this morning, uh, we stayed here. Um, you know, we had candles and all the necessities and everything we needed, things to eat and drink and all that stuff, right? Our medicine was on ice because, you know, I got medicine that requires to be uh, refrigerated. So we got that situated. Everything in the freezer and the refrigerator is gone, <laughs> right? It pretty much spoiled. But I'm so thankful to the good Lord up above. You know, and then that makes me just seriously think about the people that it, it you know, they received it worse, you know, because it can get worse, right? I, I thought it was super bad, but the stories that I'm hearing on the news is super scary. So thank you for your prayers, guys. Some of you, I did a whole community post telling you what's going on and you guys were praying. So thank you. Um, yeah. <laughs> My goodness, I had a headache up until the time the I looked I looked and I said, I know that's not a light in the hallway closet. <laughs> I can hear Dakota. I can hear Dakota jumping up saying, Yes, it is. My ceiling fan just turned on. So I just said, Thank you, Lord. But I'm back. I'm back. So um I just wanted to tell you guys that we're doing just fine. So it's just crazy because like we we didn't get a warning. <laughs> you know, you think you'll get a warning like you guys are going to get the after effects of the hurricane that's going on in Florida. How do we get it? <laughs> like if y'all know where I live, how do we get it? I like we're not close to Florida at all. So um that right there really sent me for a loop. And like any store that you went to around here, gas stations, they sold out of ice. Sold out of any and everything that you're looking for. Right? Oh my goodness. Sold out of coolers, the drinks. Like people are buying stuff up like it's just the end of time. But um, you, of course it's understandable. But my goodness, I just wonder how many people's uh, power was down. Oh man, I am telling you. And, and see, although we stayed here last night, it was a little chilly, you know, but we had blankets and things like that. So uh, I, I'd like to say when we got up this morning, maybe early afternoon is when it turned on. And I thought, thank you so much. It was like, and it seemed like all of our phones they they just kept dying <laughs> and my husband would run outside and and put all the phones in, in cars <laughs> i got the phones charging so uh but we made it through super happy and i hope you guys are safe i hope you guys are doing well let me know how you're doing and you know if you're safe if your family is safe 
But I'm telling you one thing, them hurricanes and the weather that comes with it ain't nothing to play with, right? No, it's not. Super scary. I don't know if I've seen weather like this before. You know, I, I've seen weather where they tell you you're going to have the 35 degree winds. We've seen that and that can be super scary. But th this rain was like a rain that I ain't seen before. I thought, are you kidding me? Like I kept, I kept looking out the um, sunroom door and I'm thinking, man. And then this morning, everything just got steel. Everything just got super dark and just still. It was quiet. There was no birds singing. And I thought, man, it's so eerie. And it dawned on me. Dakota has to go to school. But he does homeschooling and he needs the internet, right? So I thought, oh, crap. Are you kidding me? So right now he is doing his schoolwork and he messaged you know, like the school counselor and all his teachers to let them know, you know, what the situation is that we lost power and internet and he's doing all his schoolwork now. So that's one great thing about, you know, when you're doing homeschooling that you can make it up and get right back on track. So I'm super glad that he's working on that right now. It is, the weather is cold outside. It's really beginning to feel you know, you're feeling the fall now. I feel like from here on out, we ain't getting no more hot days. How about you guys? Where you live at, what's the weather like? Is it is it the fall time? Time to cozy up with your favorite blanket yet? Because it's definitely like that here. And that's what I want to do like right now. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to do it, but that's what I want to do at least. some neighbors that live next door to us. And they're older, but they're absolutely amazing. Um... We called to check on them and we didn't get an answer. You know, you, we just wanted to check on them and see if they needed anything. But we just couldn't get a hold of them. Until maybe, I don't know, like an hour after the power turned on, they messaged us back and they said, you know, we're doing okay. You know, they said they didn't need anything. You know, thank you for checking up on us, but our phones were dead. And I think that I'm going to make it a point to go over there today to see what kind of phones they have, right? Once I see what kind of phones they have, I'm going to um, see if their car has, you know, where you can put the plug into your car and charge your phone. Because like I was telling my husband, maybe they don't know you can do that. Like, it's possible. It's possible that they don't know because they're older that you can have your phone available when the power goes out just by simply, you know, plugging your phone into the car and voila. You know, so I'm going to make it a point to see what kind of phones they have, get them a cord, and show them how to plug it up and how it works. You know, because, like I said, I feel like it could definitely be possible uh, that they don't know that or maybe they just didn't think of that, you know, especially at their age So I feel good about doing that today. I really do so If you know somebody or you know somebody elderly or, or whatever whoever you know somebody you feel like you need to check on them Maybe you should check on them, you know, absolutely because I couldn't imagine Being a certain age, you know and somebody not checking on me, you know so I just got to thinking about that. And I was talking to Dakota about how important it is to check on people. Check on them, whether you're calling them, texting them, or physically going over, check on them, make sure they are okay. You know what I mean? Do you have water? You know, do you have peanut butter and some bread? I'm like, I'm not kidding. You have to check up on people. Nowadays, I feel like the thing that, pe that everybody does is a text is a text physically make your way to check on them check on them check on them making sure people are doing okay even if it's not a hurricane going on right now right my husband has this bright idea <laughs> he says that he wanted barbecue i know i know while the electricity's out my husband's like we're gonna barbecue and i'm thinking oh I'm thinking, okay, <laughs> right, bright idea, right? And it's still a little rainy outside. So he goes to the local market 
and um, he gets all the stuff to make barbecue. He wanted hamburgers, hot dogs, sausage, baked beans, and potato salad. Okay, so he gets the pre-made potato salad and um, just everything that he needs. He needed to get a propane tank for the grill, of course. And um, <laughs> it's crazy because as... So while he was at the store, of course the electric was off. But when he was en route to get back home, the electric comes back home, comes back on, and he had bought all this stuff, <laughs> chips. I don't know why. Somebody tell me why he bought three bags of chips. I don't know why. <laughs> he says, "What the heck?" He said, "I went to the gas station and bought chips, and then I went to Kroger and bought chips." I said, "I don't know what. I don't know." <laughs> We'll eat them, though. Last night, I thought I was going to take a nice shower. I told my husband, I said, hey, I said, light the candle. Give Dakota the, um, um, what is it, guys? Give Dakota a flashlight. He's good. He was, you know, in his room. And uh, we lit some candles for our bedroom. I said, by time, you know, by time we wake up, electric will be back on. So, anyways, I told my husband, I said, I'm, I'm about to get me a nice hot shower. Y'all. Like, this house is electric, right? There's, there's like, no gas, right? And, and I've never lived in a house where it was all electric. So the water tank wasn't heating. And guess what I did? Chad, I done, I done got in the cold. I said I was going to take a shower. Like, we have baby wipes and stuff like that. But I wanted and I needed to get in the water and wash up. I took a cold shower. My husband said, you are absolutely nuts. I said, I might be, but I'm feeling good. I was freezing. <laughs> I was talking all that smack, but I was freezing. And it was the hair. When my hair, my hair touched my back, I thought, okay, I am nuts. But I got me a shower. <laughs> my husband said, I'm taking the baby wipes. I will use the baby wipes to get nice and clean. <laughs> and he did. <laughs> it's great stepping in to talk to you guys. Thank you all for the love and loving me. I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. I'm not sure if I'm going to do a video today. We'll just kind of see, um, you know, how the day goes. I know I am going to be doing some videos today, but I, I guess we'll just see. And I got to figure out what I'm going to do with this hair. Lord knows. Oh, my goodness. I might just turn it into a, I might just pull it right up into a bun. <laughs> God bless you all. Until the next video. Good night.